Hi, in week one, you collected 30 pieces of data, quantitative data, and you generated a histogram of that data for your first project. In week two, you're going to take that same data that you collected last week, and you are going to generate summary statistics, otherwise known as descriptive statistics, for that data. Same as last week, if you go to statcrunch.com and log in with the username and password that you use to log in to your MyMathLab account, you will be taken to the program. And there you'll want to enter the data that you collected in week one and make sure that you click on this top column cell where you can label that data with some sort of title that is appropriate for the data, data that you collected. This data is representing the number of Facebook friends that the respondents to this survey had. Once you have your data entered and labeled to generate the descriptive statistics, you're going to click on stat at the top, then summary stats, and then columns. Once this box opens, at the very top, you will click to select the column that has the data that you are trying to generate these descriptive statistics for. Once you have selected your column, you will come down to this box titled Statistics, where you will find a number of different statistics that you can select to have the program generate for you. The nice thing is you can select all the statistics you want at the same time. All you have to do to select a statistic is click on it, and if you want to select multiple statistics at the same time, you will just hold the control key down on your keyboard and then select the next statistic that you want. So again, we are looking for the mean, the median, the mode, the standard deviation, and the five number summary. So I've already selected the mean and the standard deviation. And if we scroll down a bit, now we'll find the median. We'll select that. The five number summary is the five numbers minimum, Q1, median, Q3, and maximum. We've already selected the median, and the other four numbers are right here. Minimum, maximum, Q1, and Q3. All of those together with the median constitute the five number summary. And all the way at the bottom, we find the mode which we select. So we have now selected all the different statistics that we were asked to generate in the week two assignment. Once all of those are selected and you see them here in the box on the right, you can click compute. And that's it. You now have all the different statistics that you asked for corresponding to your data and you have completed the technology step for week two.